today we're going to be installing a doorstop. Um, this here is the doorstop that Ben ordered on Amazon. Links in the description. And the problem that we had over here is that oh, this door is locked. Because this door didn't have a proper doorstop, it got caught by the wind and got ripped off its hinges, or very nearly ripped off its hinges. So we just finished replacing the hinges. Uh, we don't want that to happen again. So we established where we wanted to put our doorstop. You can see we've got it marked out with Sharpie there. And we just went 90 degrees to the building and then one hammer length out, just kind of. The idea was we wanted enough room to like put a rock or something there or a wedge to hold the door open and also not be in the walkway. So if you set that on our mark, you can see how that is going to stop the door. It should do the trick really well. So the way that this anchors in, it's threaded going up the middle and it has a section of threaded rod threads up into there and a cement anchor with a lead or is it zinc? It's lead. It's lead, I think, yeah. With like a lead compression ring. So you drill a 5 8 hole in the middle here, and then a second quarter inch hole right here using this uh, plastic insert and screw. <laughs> Don't use this to drill the hole, that won't work very good. But that just holds it from pivoting, because obviously this is directional. You don't want this to pivot and mar up your door because it's got a rubber stop on the front that should keep it there. First the 5 8 I always kind of like to move and look from multiple angles as you're drilling just to make sure that it's kind of going sort of straight down. We're down to about uh, two inches. Or two better. inches, that's that's more than enough. We probably could have gotten by with like an inch. We're just going to thread it all the way down so that it's basically touching. Yeah, because really what happens is as you're tightening this in, yep. this grips the cement and then the face of yeah, once this, this once this contacts it. the item you're attaching, that's when the wedge starts to squish into the lead and is able to expand that outward. You can see that. So that it will uh, actually make proper contact. So now we can line this up here and make sure that it's still on our mark, which it looks like it's remarkably close, but... Remarkably, which is why we're going <laughs> to remark it. We're going to remark it anyway. Big A news. good inch and a half. Is sufficient as you can see our screw is not even that long all right wow that's such a nice insert so this uh this lead wedge anchor you put the wedge side down so the wedge is actually pointed up inside of this lead get that in position then we can just tap this down until the top of it is even with the top of the cement and you can maybe even get it a little bit countersunk and as you tighten this down, that lead wedge anchor should grip the concrete as you tighten it more and more. And then we just rotate it until it gets aligned with our... There it is right there. Then you just run in your position holding screw. And that is all it should take to reliably stop the door. We're going to go ahead and test it. Oh. Just imagine like you're, uh, I don't know, someone likes to break doors. <laughs> Would this break? This should prevent it them from like breaking the doors. Well aligned even. Like it, it's pretty parallel to the face of the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks beautiful. So anyway, hope that this uh, short video helped you install one of these door stops and I guess that's it. So don't talk, to you, to subscribe. talk to you later. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down here. The also the like button is over there too and leave a comment about what Ruben did wrong. I mean I did wrong because I was actually running the hammer drill. Oh no. Alright. Bye. See ya. Later.